flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an unchanged moon. I'm not changing here, yeah. And I'm going to tell how God do these motherfucking responsibilities. Now, right now, we're going to talk about life after death, part two in this motherfucker, because there's a lot of things that y'all need to know. Now, check this out. When we talk about life after death, now, in this segment, we're going to break down what actually happens the moment that your spirit leaves this body. Now, here's the thing. When we talk about life after death, now, this is all about expiration dates, because as a spirit, you're going through many different realms of realities, and you're jumping in those fluids, you're jumping in those oceans, and you're creating the vehicle or the vessel that you're going to utilize in that to experience that realm of reality. So you always have to experience the realm of reality through something. So this is why you create vehicles, a.k.a. bodies, a.k.a. Uh, vessels to live through to experience that realm of reality. And the vessel is always going to be created out of the waters of the realm of reality that you went into. So keep that in mind also when we're traveling through space. So this is why traveling through the, how to travel through the yin realm is based upon your state of beings, your feelings, your emotions, and what kind of um, emotional state that you are in because these are your first lightest lightest cloths that you create as a Merkaba in order to travel through the yin ram to find an external direction aka a solar plexus or, or a light or a chakra that represents the second coming in some type of way to go in but before we get into that now look like I said everything is based upon an expiration date so the moment that this vehicle expires or say a lot of times people expiration date come a lot earlier than it needs to aka a person getting killed so that's when they go through a circumstance or a situation that transform this vehicle and an uh, organ gets damaged to a point that the spirit cannot utilize that organ anymore no longer so the spirit gets pushed out of this out of this vehicle and have to go into another realm of reality to experience this realm of reality otherwise it'll just be no thing your spirit is your space no thing i ain't say nothing like in scientific terms no thing no shape and form so for the most part, your spirit is your space, and it's always going to be your, your space and how you curate your space in all realms of reality. Never forget that. So if, even if you leave this dimension, you know that you heard from Archangel Uriel how to not get lost. Now, for the most part, when we're talking about um, your spirit not being able to utilize this body, because when an organ gets damaged gets it, or when this gets too old and it starts to expire, uh, the, it, these vessels is weakened, so the spirit can't utilize it from the most uh to the maximum potential so for the most part here's the thing right see when a, your organs gets created from your light bodies your light so your spirit create the light bodies then your light bodies create the organs then your organs give life to the blood cells and then all of that together creates your whole little ecosystem your whole little organ organization your organism whatever the fuck you want to call it as a multi-cell uh organism but for the most part as a spirit you create the light bodies then the light bodies create the the denser vessels which is the organs and then so on and so forth. So for the most part, um, you know that the light bodies start off as the body of water that you go into. So for the most part, here's the thing, right? Once this body or this frame or this level of existence or this realm of reality expires and as a spirit, you can no longer utilize these things. You go into a lighter realm of reality of this thing. You go into a lighter version of this thing. And a lighter version of it would be light and mass, light and weight. So that would be the thought or the concept. And that thought and concept represents the state of being you was in in order for you to even travel here, travel here through these waters as a spirit to create this kind of vehicle to experience this realm of reality in the first place. So, for the most part, here's the thing, right? Based upon that thought or that concept, that is the light. That is a masculine version of something. A earth or air concept. A heaven version of something. And when you talk about the water and fire, this is the first creation of something. When you're basically trying to represent this state of awareness to represent your state of being. A.K.A. a feeling or state of being. And that's where you're actually going to travel in the esoteric realm. And then once you travel there, you start to see all the external versions of lights. A.K.A. the external ideas and concepts that maintain that space that maintain that realm of reality to give you an idea how to create a vessel within that realm of reality. And that becomes what your parents and, and the world that you that you come into. Now, when your world ends, that's when your world ends. Everybody has their own world. So you have people who live turbulent, turbulent kind of worlds, stressed out kind of worlds, prosperity kind of worlds, you know what I'm saying, a give and take kind of world, a manipulating kind of world. Everybody has their own world based upon their state of being that their spirit was in when they came here and traveled through these waters to create a vehicle. Now, for the most part, when we talk about bodies and things of that nature, the reason why you have a similar body than someone else, because based upon the esoteric travel, you travel here with a group of other spirits that resonated with similar energies. So when y'all came here, all kind of in the same kind of space. So all of y'all together was like a, a, a see-through cloud. And once you came into these bodies of waters, that's when you all developed that whole cloud 
and then how y'all relate to the realm of reality that y'all in, y'all all, all kind of create the same kind of vehicle, but y'all all have your own perception within that vehicle because you are your own person. You are you have your own space. So even though we all came as one space, you have one person here, this space, this space, this space, this space. So they all gonna have their own perception. They're all their own person, their own personality. So they all have their own idea about this whole space that we're all sharing. But the better we know how to relate together, the better that we can have an existence that we call it a universe or we call it uh, a space that we all live in. This is how you get into states and countries and different laws and th things of that nature. But I'm talking about from a spiritual nature right now. Of why we all came with similar bodies and why you are different than other species. And things of that nature. Because we're all doing a similar uh, thing based upon expansion and contraction. So, based upon us coming here as, well, if you all share the human body... You know what I'm saying? You all share similar experiences. So for the most part, this is why you all came here in kind of a similar space to create. And in that space, there was already a few spirits that was already here that created bodies of water before you. So you bounce back and forth off them to create your vehicle to experience that realm of reality of the state of being, a.k.a. the space that you are in. So this world and living as a spirit, living through the human organ um, and how you perceive things and then you give more importance to the mentality, um, this kind of lets you know what kind of being that you was following here. You know what I'm saying? And before we get lost into a concept of <clears throat> motherfucking um, gods and all that motherfucking shit, you want to mo motherfucking make sure that you ain't following no motherfucking entity that's taking your ass to a space that you don't need to motherfucking be in. So keep that in mind also. So, like I said... Once, mother, once you pass on out of this motherfucking vessel or whatever like that, it's based upon your state of being. Now, that's almost like where the wind blows. See what I'm saying? That's almost like where things go in that, the direction of things. But for the most part, the space that you live in, in a vehicle right now, you could feel the wind blow. But like I said, we're talking about some esoteric shit right now. So, based upon the wind blows or the airs, you're going to travel there based upon your state of being. And whatever direction that is, that's going to be the space that you start to create. So, once you get a... Once you get you follow a spirit that was already in that space there that did it before you this is going to become your parents so you get lost into their bodies of waters and their chakras now here's the thing right once you do that and once you start to develop yourself right you end up creating because look with your light bodies is your idea and your imagination how you want to see yourself then you start to create your organs and stuff within the womb at the second dimension then in the third dimension you're going to start to manifest the actual life that you was kind of in as a spirit based upon your motherfucking state of being so, whatever state of being you was in spiritually, when you get born into this lifetime, by default, you start to manifest those circumstances and situations. So, here's how you can kind of look at examples of people who, who in this world along with you right now that's awake. You can see people who live lives that you always wanted. People who live lives of bliss. Now, don't, don't attach this to money because you have a lot of people who have a lot of money and still kill themselves and still depressed. So this is about a state of being. You have people who appreciate their life, and you have people who don't appreciate their life. Now, nine times out of ten, like I said, a circumstance or a situation that you grew up in that was very harsh and bad, this means what kind of spiritual state of being you was in before you even came here. And I know a lot of people don't like to take responsibility, and once you start to, once you start to make a person feel responsible for their outcomes and their circumstances, even when you go beyond the physical, because you'll have a person to quick in a, in a second and be like, oh, it ain't my fault why I'm in a circumstance or situation. I was just born into this shit. See, and then once you give a person a responsibility higher than they could actually think of, then that's when things... Let's try that. Then, that, then that's when things get kind of uh, haywired for the, 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 the common human. And I don't care if you're talking about a religious person, an apologetics, a super conscious person, the, the regular person, the apps, just the every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm Archangel Uriel. You're gonna, if you're part of my soul group, you're gonna have to learn how to separate yourself from all these kind of concepts and illusions at some point. But at the same time, you need to understand you have to take full responsibility. And every day that you are awake within a vehicle, that is a new day that you can train your subconscious mind to take responsibility for your circumstance. Therefore, there won't be no reason to be placing any type of external blame for any kind of circumstance or child or tribulation that you go through and therefore you'll already be on a path to creating better states of beings for your, your spirit to be in regardless of your external representations you know your external representations could be anything it could be your living conditions it could be uh friends it could be your job it could be family it could be your responsibilities it could be your children but all these may look like certain things to put you in a certain state of being that you don't have to feel a certain way about these things you can create your own state of being about these things and therefore, the more you go through that fight and the more percentage you put in putting that into a broader light, the more you're going to be able to get out of life that you're necessarily looking for. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of it's hard for people 
to understand this concept because they never put it into practice. And it, it sounds like something, it sounds like something that just sounds good. But if you was to go ahead and put it into practice, you'll be able to fully understand and be able to see the things manifest in your life because it's all about a percentage level. So like I've said, the video is about life after death, but by me explaining this, all you hear is about life, right? Like I said, it's not, it's, death ain't something where it's just end all and be all. You know what I'm saying? That's why, it's a, that's why every concept you hear about when somebody talk about death is about an existence afterwards. I don't even give a fuck if you listening to somebody who, who a religious ass motherfucker. As soon as they start to talk about death, they start to talk about you going to live somewhere else though. And you can't live nowhere else without a vehicle. Now, I don't give a fuck what kind of vehicle it is. That's another discussion. Now, if a motherfucker, religious, a, a person who's in apologetics or a theologian want to get into an argument about that, then we can get into an argument about that. But you're going to be in a shape and form because all I'm going to tell you is the shape and form may be a lighter one, maybe a heavier one. Once we start to talk about dimensions and realms of realities, this kind of leaves the knowledge of your Gnosticism, or this kind of leaves the knowledge of your uh, epistemology when we start to talk about religion and things of that nature, because you're going to a concept that was already pre-created. You see what I'm saying? And since we know the mind is authoring things, and spirits that's in the vehicles that have minds, that has a brain, to be able to utilize logic and rationality, you're constructing your future. And when you let another entity construct your, your future for you, a.k.a. you let another man or woman's philosophical point of view construct your spiritual travels, then for the most part, you already at fault. And you already don't even understand the concept of life. And you already on the road of Dalmatian. You see what I'm saying? Regard, regardless, of what you're, regardless of what you're lost in the world about to think that you're doing the right thing and that you're doing the wrong thing. You see what I'm saying? So we don't want to, you want to be spiritually free. You don't want to be spiritually constructed under any kind of morality that was created by another spirit that may not even reside in the same space that your spirit is in so those those experiences may not even be for you you know what i'm saying that's why a lot of people like people talk about uh israel and people want to jesus and things of that nature i mean it doesn't matter if jesus existed or not that wasn't your family that's not part of your bloodline you see what i'm saying so these thoughts and ideas and concepts are not for you so you're following, you're following another family, you see what I'm saying? That's what it boils down to. It, it doesn't matter if that family was named that name or not. It's, a, it's an energy that we're all able to receive, so for the most part, it's an existence, but let's just talk about what the existence is. So like I was saying, when we talk about heaven and hell, this is, this is a concept created by one spirit, based upon its point of view about this whole universe that we're sharing as verses together. But when you want to talk about um, heaven and hell, this is what you could create for yourself, because you're always going to be born and you're always going to die. A.K.A. you're always going through transformations. So whether you're going through a, a higher level of transformation or you're going through a lower level of transformation. The bodies of waters is going to differ. The lower realms of realities may be heavy waters. So it takes a little bit more experiences. A little bit more logic. A little bit more rationality. A little bit more thinking. As a spirit utilizing that body water to construct itself in that space. A.K.A. it takes more time. Then you can go into the lighter frequency vibrations with things more rapid things is more chaotic where dreams and imaginations happen more rapidly but they also leave more rapidly so the experience of death is not even experienced the way it's experienced in more lower realm of reality to the point that in a lower realm of reality as a spirit utilizing the organ down here due to time being so slow you'll get so attached to one organ you would think that life is nothing more nothing nothing else without that organ so you get attached and come up with a bunch of other things that the spirit be putting more importance to in that organ, in that vehicle. Shit like the brain and the mind and shit like that. And therefore come up with constructs and ideas how to never leave this vehicle or create another realm of reality that mimics this vehicle in some way, shape, or form. And this is this is this comes to the psychology of why y'all create y'all gods in y'all image. You see what I'm saying? To the point that you need to know your God is your spirit. And for the most part, this is why your God is always going to be in the image of the vehicle that you're taking at the moment as a spirit. Because this is the spirit that y'all following. But there's many different entities out here. That's what you need to understand. And before you get lost in the concept of God, this is just one spirit being in a space before another spirit. So when you want to uh, talk about a God, this could be your parents. This could be anything that was in a space before you. So you could take that to the organs created or you could just take that to a spiritual nature. This spirit is more experienced than you. So it, its level of expansion and contraction is much larger than yours. So if you follow that spirit to a space, you can only live within that spirit. A.K.A. you can only take a lesser vehicle within whatever world that that spirit live in. A.K.A. you can only be a blood cell or organ within the whole 
w within the whole verse of that multicell organism being and that spirit that was in that space first is taking the macabre and the solar plexus of that. See what I'm but at the same time, you need to know that life doesn't stop there. And we all can maintain our own space. And when you go into higher frequency vibrations, that's like I said, sound is much lighter. Waves is much lighter. Thought forms is much lighter. Feelings and emotions is much lighter. So when you're thinking about it in a third dimension, to lighten up your feelings and emotions down here is to lighten up your load. Don't feel so down about certain things. Now, when we talk about in the higher realms, 4th, 5th, and 6th dimension, purgatory, 7th, 8th, and 9th dimension, this is a situation where if you do choose to get too heavy on these thoughts and these feelings and emotions, as a spirit, you bring yourself right back down to this realm of reality. See what I'm saying? And that's what it actually means to fall as a spirit because you separated yourself and you, you your load wasn't light and you added too many waters to the waters that you already had. You see what I'm saying? So, like I said, there's many different gods out here. And when we say gods, that's just a spirit that was in a space before another space. Don't get lost. All of us can maintain our own space in some way, shape, or form. And a religious person will make you think this is the wrong thing because their epistemology of looking at God and things of that nature. But, you know, they'll tell you in a second that they God created everything. But this is a teamwork makes the dream work type of thing. And this is what you have to understand. Because before you let a religious person tell you that they got their God created everything, all you got to do is ask them the question is, then who created the goddamn premortal waters that this spirit was floating over? They don't got no scripture for that. See, they got scriptures for everything else. In the, they, got, they got scriptures for everything, right? And even the contradiction one. But there is no scripture in the Bible that tells you or no, no description or anything in the Bible that tells you when this spirit created the waters it was hovering over in Genesis. Genesis starts off as all y'all get, get, get stuck on who created that spirit. But before we even get there, because I got a video about how spirits are created. So based upon the state of being, this is how you are able to pinpoint certain spirits. So we know what kind of spirit we're dealing with. And we know what kind of spirit you are based upon you being in this realm of reality at the moment. Which give us another example of where we're at at the moment. And what level or what space of the body we are in at the moment. So we don't get lost. But that's another video before we get into that. But I just want people to understand this at the moment. The spirit that a lot of y'all follow. In the beginning, it was hovering over the waters. There was no scripture where the spirit created that waters. So, for the most part, now we're going to have to start to talk about the waters. And this, this, this is where the knowledge excludes religion. This is where the knowledge excludes all the esoteric shit y'all see on the internet. This is where the knowledge excludes all type of theologic, philosophical points of views of things. And this is even when the knowledge excludes science. Because science is still teaching you to this day that water landed on, that water landed on earth when we know goddamn well that earth is on water. And they teach you that every day while still telling you motherfucker water landed on earth. The whole epistemology of everything is fucking false. You see what I'm saying? But once we start to get into this concept, this is the higher temperament. You know what I'm saying? That I, The higher template I was explaining to y'all. So as Archangel Uriel, I mean, look, we got the internet now. So there used to be a saying where you could say that no one, no one, there's nothing new under the sun. Or there's no new thought. But, like, since we got the internet, we can kind of look now and actually see. And, like, as Archangel Uriel, I, I must say, uh, this new template, you never, you're never going to hear this. Not from no goddamn esoteric, not from no Alan Watts, not from no, uh, not from no conscious community. Not, the subconscious community shit is real. Not from no religious, not from no theologian, not from, apo not, not from no apologetics. This concept I'm getting ready to come to, come to grips with is even how astrology was created so we really want to start to talk about get into this higher temperament i mean it's higher well it's, it is a higher temperament but we're really finna get into this higher template that i've been explaining to everybody you know what i'm saying because once we get into this space right here we're going to actually be able to start creating pyramids you know what i'm saying really start to create pyramids and i want to actually be the first soul group and the first spiritual um group grouping down here to actually bring that into this realm of reality so it doesn't seem like it's just something that ancients could do and it's something that we can do in this very damn time we just got weakened uh because we have got lost into the lights as a spirit you got lost into your light bodies 
your light bodies created the organs. So as a spirit, you lost into your light bodies, the thought and idea about yourself and the feelings and emotions about yourself. That created your organs. Then you get lost into that and have all a bunch of desires and passions to please the flesh. And then that get then as a spirit, you get lost into the third dimension of it, aka the ways of the world that consist those things to hold up, to keep your mind running and to keep your desires going. So for the most part, when you die as a spiritual state of being, you only you only familiar with shit in this realm of reality because you lack imagination. So you, you only cling on to things that's that's broader the world, aka religion, apologetics, um, uh, society, all the things that y'all that y'all did as Mount Hermon, Mount Sinai. And, and created as a group and as a pack to come down here as a terms and agreements to be relative in this low ass vibrational space that we are in at the moment. And this is why you have lost the, the true information. So, you know, this is what we're gonna get into right now, the true information, the true form that you can go into. And once you figure things out in that realm of reality, your spirit can expand and contract a lot faster than the people that you are around at the moment. So yeah, we're gonna close this video out real quick. You know what I'm saying? Because right now I'm just absorbing spirits in the goddamn waters right now. And um, this is how you understand your day and how your day is gonna go. Seeing where the water is flowing, seeing how the wind is blowing. When you walk outside, <coughs> everybody's space is different. So when the wind is blowing based upon your space, is this hitting you on your left side? Is this hitting you on your back side? Is it hitting you on your front side? It's all the way to the point that just your street and your house is facing a certain location that the wind is going to hit you different than your goddamn neighbor. So for the most part, how the wind hit you? How the water look based upon your perspective? That's letting you know the lightest vehicles that spirits can take here that's trying to come into this realm of reality based upon influence and things of that nature to become children and things. This lets you know what kind of ideas and things of that nature is going to manifest and construct the day? This is how you know what kind of influences is going on based upon what's going on in your city or not. And so keep that in mind. But flight thoughts, bitch, goddamn air. Ee hee. We out this motherfucker.